Hi, I'm Bonnie Barker with BonnieBayCrochet.com and you've come to video number four of the Tree of Life throw. Okay, I wanted to show you where we left off at the end of row 40. And just for the record, this video is going to cover rows 41 through rows 55 of the tree pattern. Okay, and I may give a little extra instructions after that, but um, that's pretty much what we're going to be covering in this video. So let's go ahead and take a look at row 41. Okay, hopefully if you're still with me up through these rows, you understand how to read these patterns. But I am going to review this just a little quickly um, for those who just need the extra help. So thanks for your patience. Okay, for row 41, I'm going to be reading it from right to left, and this is with the front side facing. We're going to have a chain one, three single crochets, front post, double crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven single crochets, front post, double, three singles, front post, three singles, front post, two singles, four front post, double crochets, two singles, front post, three singles, front post, three singles, front post, seven single um, crochets, front post double, and then three singles. Let's go ahead and crochet that across row 41. Okay, this starts with a chain one, and we're gonna single crochet in the first three stitches. One, two, three, and then we're going to front post, double crochet. It's gonna be a little bit of a reach over there. And then we're gonna skip one stitch behind this front post, and then we're gonna work seven single crochets. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, another front post double crochet, skip one behind, three single crochets, I'm going to take time to move my stitch marker on my written instructions here. And then we do another front post, double crochet, and skip one stitch behind that, and three more single crochets. I'm going to move my stitch marker again, front post, double crochet, skip the one behind, and now we just do two single crochets. Now we're going to work four front post doubles right in a row, okay, skip four stitches behind, one, two, three, four, and then single crochet in the next two stitches, I'm going to move my stitch marker, and front post double crochet, skip the stitch behind, three single crochets, front post, double crochet, I'm going to move my stitch marker again, skip the stitch here, and single crochet in the next three stitches, front post, double crochet, skip one stitch, now we're going to single crochet in seven stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we're going to work another front post, double crochet, skip that next stitch, and then we're going to single crochet in the last three stitches. One, two, and three, and that worked out. This begins our uh, first repeat of this. So let's go ahead and take a look how the tops of the trees are turning out. Okay, so go ahead and repeat that two more times across row 41. Okay, let's take a look at row 42. This is with the back side facing. We have a chain one, 11 single crochets, back post double, three singles, back post double, three singles, back post double, two singles, and now we're going to have two back post treble crochets crossing um, make sure that you skip these two double back post doubles or front post doubles that they were from 41. And then working in front of those, as seen from the back side, we're going to cross and do the two more back post 
treble crochets. Two singles, back post, double, three singles, back post, three singles, back post, 11 single crochets all the way to the, until we repeat it again. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. We start with the chain one and we're gonna single crochet in the first 11 stitches. After those 11 single crochets, we're gonna work a back post double crochet. Skip one stitch for that post stitch and then we're gonna work three single crochets. And then we're gonna work another back post double crochet. I'm gonna move my stitch marker and then we're gonna do skip this stitch and do three more single crochets. Gonna work another back post double crochet. Skip this stitch for that post stitch and then two single crochets. Now this is where it might get a little bit tricky, but hang with me here. We're gonna skip the next two stitches and we're going to back post treble crochet around the next two, just like this. Now working in front of these two, as seen from the front side, it really kind of like goes behind them, but it's really working in front. It's confusing language, so just do what I do and not try to understand what I'm saying right now. This is where the written portion can get really um, confusing. So let me go ahead and I'm just going to turn this around and show you what I mean. This is with the, the front side facing. Um, so you work these first two that are behind and then as seen from the front side, you work these next two in front. Okay, there can be a lot of confusion with written patterns because of this. All right, and that's an, another reason why I like to do videos. Okay, so we're going to skip one, two, three, four stitches behind there and we're going to work a single crochet in the next two stitches. I'm going to move my stitch marker over here. Another back post double crochet and then we're going to work, skip that and work three single crochets. I'm going to move my stitch marker again and we're going to back post double crochet, skip the next stitch three single crochets, back post, a double crochet, and now we're going to skip this stitch for the post stitch and single crochet in the next 11 stitches. And now that I've finished the 11 stitches, I end with the stitch marker in the same place since we're working on the back. And let's go ahead and let me show you what this should look like from the front side going across the top. Okay, so go ahead and work that two more times across row 42. Now we're ready to start row 43, which begins with the front side facing and with 10 single crochets, front post, double crochet, three singles, front post, three singles, front post, three singles, four front post, double crochets, three single crochets, front post, three singles, front post, three singles, front post, and 10 single crochets. So let's go ahead and work. That's row number 43. We start row 43 with the chain one, and we're gonna single crochet in the first 10 stitches. After completing the first 10 stitches, we work a front post, double crochet, skip a stitch behind for that post stitch, and we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three, and another front post double. Skip a stitch behind for that, and another one, two, three stitches. Okay, now we go ahead and we work another front post double crochet skip a stitch behind for that 
stitch and then single crochet in the next three stitches one two and three and now we're going to front post double crochet in the four post stitches and we're just going to do this straight across as they appear one two and there are two hidden back here don't forget those three and four i'm going to move my stitch marker now we're going to skip four stitches behind these posts one two three four and then we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches one two three front post double crochet and then three more stitches let's skip one here for this post stitch one two three and then another front post double crochet and skip a stitch for that and then three more one two three single crochets and then a front post double crochet skip a stitch for that post stitch and then we crochet in the next 10 stitches that should take us to our stitch marker and that did work out so it's those last 10 stitches take us to the stitch marker which is going to begin the next repeat of this so let's go ahead and take a look at the top of the tree now it's starting to look more and more like a couple of trees here okay so go ahead and repeat that two more times across the row now let's take a look at row 44 i'm going to read from left to right this is with the back side facing okay we're going to have a chain one we will have 10 single crochets front post one two three four five six seven single crochets front post two single crochets two front post double crochets two singles two front post two singles front post seven single crochets front post and 10 single crochets it's getting a little bit easier as we go across and we're getting fewer and fewer branches so let's go ahead and work that across row 44. we begin with a chain and we're going to work single crochet in the first 10 stitches after those 10 stitches we work a back post double crochet skip a stitch for that post stitch and single crochet in the next seven stitches after those seven single crochets another back post double crochet skip a stitch for that post stitch two single crochets followed by two back post doubles just grab those two stitches that are closest to you on the other side skip two stitches for those post stitches and now we're going to do two single crochets and then two more back post double crochets those are the remaining two from the stitches that crossed a couple of rows rows back okay skip two stitches for those two post stitches we just worked and two more single crochets now we're going to work a back post double crochet I can see I've got a knot here I'm going to have to carefully work around that pull that to the back side and now after we do that we're going to do seven single crochets after working those seven single crochets another back post double crochet skip a stitch for the post stitch and single crochet in the next 10 stitches and that should take you to the stitch marker let's go ahead I'll finish this up with you instead of um, pausing in and out okay so let me go ahead and the last one should be worked in the stitch marker and let's just verify this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and that works so this is what you have I guess obviously from the back side but I wanted to flip it around and show you what this should look like looking at the tops of the trees here okay so you can see the trees forming all right so go ahead and do that two more times across row 
44, and that's with the back side facing. Now let's take a look at row 45. We're going to have a chain one, this is front side facing, nine single crochets, front post double crochet, seven single crochets, front post double, two singles, two front post double, four singles, two front post doubles, two singles, front post double. We have seven single crochets, front post double, and then nine single crochets. Go ahead and show that nine single crochets. So let's go ahead and crochet row 45. Start this row with a chain one and single crochet in the first nine stitches. After those nine stitches, single crochets rather, we're going to work a front post double crochet, skip a stitch right back here for that post stitch, and we're going to single crochet in the next seven stitches. After finishing those seven single crochets, another front post double crochet, skip a stitch behind for that post stitch, and two single crochets. Now we're going to work two front post doubles, just reach over there to those stitches, will seem like a little far away, but they're really not. Skip two stitches there, and then we're going to work four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. And then let me move my stitch marker. And we're going to do two more front post double crochets. Skip one, two stitches. And then two single crochets. Front post double. And skip a stitch for that. And now we're going to work seven single crochets. After those seven single crochets, a front post double crochet. Skip a stitch for that. And then single crochet in the next nine stitches. So that should take you right up to your stitch marker, but not, not to it because that begins the second repeat of this. So let's go ahead and take a look at the top of the tree. Okay, so go ahead and work that two more times across the row. Okay, let's take a look at row 46. We're going to be working with the back side facing. We're going to have a chain one, 16 single crochets, a back post double, two single crochets, back post, two singles, back post, two singles, back post, two singles, back post, two singles, back post, and then 16 single crochets across. Let's go ahead and work row 46. We'll start row 46 with a chain one, and we're gonna work 16 single crochets across. After working those 16 stitches all the way across, we're gonna do a back post double, skip this stitch, and then do two single crochets. And we're gonna get another back post double. This is kind of a little bit towards the left or towards the right if you're watching the left-handed. Skip this stitch, two single crochets. Now we're going to reach the other direction for that other stitch for a back post double. Skip the stitch and two single crochets. Now we're going to do another back post double. Skip this stitch, two single crochets, and then we're going to reach back for that other back post double. Skip this stitch, and let's let's check to see. We should have six remaining branches um, according to the chart. I just want to verify one, two, three, four, five, and then we have one more here. So this will be, we'll do two single crochets. I started it before, and then one back post double crochet and single crochet, I'm sorry, skip this stitch, and then single crochet in the next 16 stitches. Okay, so 16 stitches until you get to the stitch marker. It will be in the same place as the stitch marker. And let's take a look at the front side and see how this is working out. Okay, so you should have at the top, this is kind of important, you should have six branches left. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, okay? And then the rest are pretty much going to be single crochets from this point out. So we are um, getting, you know, getting near the home stretch on this first section of the tree pattern. So go ahead and finish row 46 and repeat this two more times across. Now for 47, we have a chain one. And actually this is exactly like row 46. We're going to have 16 single crochets, front post double, two singles, front post, 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 and 16 stitches, whoops, and 16 um, single crochets to finish out the repeat. So let's go ahead and begin row 47 with front side facing. Go ahead and chain one, and we're going to single crochet in the first 16 stitches. After those 16 single crochets, we're going to work a front post double, skip one for the stitch, two single crochets, a front post double, two single crochets, and a front post double, and two single crochets. I am skipping a stitch behind for those post stitches and two single crochets there. A front post double, skip a stitch, two single crochets, and a front post double, and two single crochets, and a front post double. Let me just make sure that I have six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. I do. And then I skip a stitch for this post stitch. And then we're going to single crochet in the next 16 stitches. And the 16 crochets take me right up to where the stitch marker is to start the next repeat. Let's go ahead and take a look at the top of the trees now. Okay, so go ahead and repeat that two more times across row 47. Now let's take a look at row 48. I'm revealing a little bit of the previous row just so that you see how these posts connect in. We're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet in each of the next 15 stitches back post, double crochet, two singles, back post, three singles, back post, two singles, back post, three singles, back post, two singles, back post, double crochet, and then 15, I'll show you that, 15 single crochets. And let's go ahead and try that. So we begin row 48 with a chain one, and we're going to single crochet in each of the next 15 stitches. After those 15 stitches, we're going to work a back post, double crochet, skip a stitch for that back post. Now we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches. I'm going to move my stitch marker and we're going to back post around the next post stitch and skip a stitch for that. And we're going to single crochet in each of the next three stitches. One, two, three, and then back post, double crochet, and I'm going to move my stitch marker. And now we're going to skip a stitch for the back post and two single crochets, back post around the next stitch, skip that stitch for the back post, and then we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches. Okay, now we're going to work a back post around the, ne the next back post. We have to reach back to get that one and skip this stitch for the back post. And then we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches and then work another back post, double crochet, skip a stitch for that. And now we are simply going to single crochet in the next 15 stitches. Okay, those 15 stitches should take you all the way to the stitch marker. So let's go ahead and let me show you what the front side should look like after this row. Okay, we're just mostly concerned with the area up here. Okay. 
So go ahead and repeat that two more times across row 48. Now let's take a look at row 49. This is going to be with the front side facing and I'm going to show you row 48 so that you see how they connect in. Okay, we're going to have chain one. We're going to have 15 single crochets, front post, double crochet, two singles, front post, double, three singles, front post, double, two singles, front post, three singles, front post, two singles, front post, double crochet, and then 15 single crochets across the row. So let's go ahead and work row 49. Okay, we're going to start with a chain one and we're going to single crochet in the first 15 stitches. After single crocheting in those first 15 stitches, we're going to work a front post, double crochet, skip a stitch for that post stitch, single crochet in the next two stitches, and then we're going to do another front post, double crochet, and let's try that one again. Front post, double crochet, and skip a stitch from behind, and then we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches, and then front post, double crochet in the next stitch, and then skip a stitch behind for that, single crochet in the next two, oops, two stitches, and then another front post, double crochet, and skip a stitch for that post stitch behind here, and then three single crochets, and then a front post, double crochet, skip a stitch for that post stitch, two single crochets, and then another front post, double crochet, skip a stitch for the post stitch back here, and then work one single crochet in the next 15 stitches. After working the 15 stitches, it takes us to the stitch marker where we'll begin the, the next repeat of this, but let's go ahead and take a look at the tops of these. You still have, we still have six branches at the top. Okay, so go ahead and repeat that two more times across row 49. Now we're ready to take a look at row number 50, worked with the back side facing. We're going to chain one, and then we're going to single crochet in the next 18 stitches. We're going to work a back post double crochet. Notice that, let me show you something here. We're not going to be working in this branch anymore, but this should be the br second branch along that row. Um, we're going to chain, I'm sorry, we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches back post, double crochet, three singles, back post, double, three singles, back post, double crochet, and then we are going to single crochet in the next 18 stitches. Let's go ahead and work row 50. We begin by working a chain one, and we're going to single crochet in the first 18 stitches across. After completing those 18 stitch stitches across, we're going to work a back post, double crochet, skip a stitch for the back post here, and we're going to work two single crochets. Remember now we are reading from left to right across. Um, so far this row has been symmetrical. This row is not, so make sure that you follow the stitch pattern from the left to the right for the right-handed version. Okay, so after those two single crochets, we're going to work a back post double, and skip a stitch for that one, and three single crochets next, followed by another back post, double crochet, and followed by three single crochets, and a back post, double crochet and we're going to skip a stitch for this post stitch, and then now we're going to single crochet in the next 18 stitches until we get to the stitch marker. So those 18 stitches will take you all the way to where the stitch marker is. Let's go ahead and take a look at the front side, particularly of the top of the tree, which is the part that we're most concerned with right now. So right now you should only be working on one, two, three, four branches, okay? 
So let's go ahead and repeat that two more times across row 50. Now let's take a look at row 51. This is what the front side facing. I'm going to chain one and we're going to single crochet in the next 17 stitches. Front post, double crochet, three singles, front post double, four singles, front post double, three singles, front post double, and then 17 single crochets. Let's go ahead and work row 51. We begin with the chain one and we're going to single crochet in the first 17 stitches. After single crocheting in the first 17 stitches, we work a front post double crochet and we're going to skip the stitch behind for the post stitch and then we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches. We're going to work another front post double crochet, skip a stitch behind for the post stitch and single crochet in the next four stitches. I'm going to go ahead and go back and pull it through all the threads there. One, two, three, four. And then we are going to work a front post, double crochet in the next stitch, skip a stitch for the post stitch, and then three single crochets. And then a front post, double crochet. Let's just stop and take a look at that. Now we're going to skip a stitch for the post stitch and we're going to single crochet in the next 17 stitches. Those 17 single crochets will take you right up next to that next stitch where you start the, the next repeat of this. So let's go ahead and take a look at the top. Okay, so go ahead and work that row or go ahead and work that repeat two more times across the row. Now let's take a look at row 52. This is what the back side facing. We're going to, to chain one and we're going to single crochet in the next 21 stitches. Back post double crochet just straight down. And then we're going to have four single crochets, another back post double crochet, and then 21 single crochets finishes out the repeat. Let's go ahead and work that. We're going to start row 52 with the chain one and then we are going to single crochet in the first 21 stitches. After those 21 single crochets, we're going to back post, double crochet around that stitch which is right below it, skip a stitch for that post stitch. We're going to single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, four, and then we're going to back post, double crochet, and skip a stitch for that post stitch. And now we're going to single crochet in the next 21 stitches. And that 21st stitch will take you to the stitch marker. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this will look like from the front side. Okay, so these two are the only back post stitches remaining in this row. So go ahead and work that two more times across. Now let's take a look at row 53. We're going to start over here. We're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet in the first 20 stitches. We're going to work a front post, double crochet, single crochet in the next six stitches, front post, double crochet, and then single crochet in the next 20 stitches. Let's go ahead and work row 53. So we start this row with a chain one and we're going to single crochet in the first 20 stitches. After those 20 stitches, we work a front post, double crochet, skip a stitch behind for that post stitch and six single crochets. And then another front post double crochet, skip a stitch for the post stitch, and now we single crochet in the next 20 stitches. So those 20 stitches will take you right up to the um, place next to the stitch marker where you'll start the next repeat. And let's take a look at the top of this tree here. Again, we're just working on 
these two branches at this point. Okay, so go ahead and repeat that two more times across row 53. Now let's take a look at row 54. This is with the back side facing. We're going to chain one. We're going to single crochet in the first 20 stitches. Back post double crochet, single crochet in the next six stitches, back post double crochet, and then single crochet in the next 20 stitches. Let's work row 54. We're going to start row 54 with a chain one and we're going to single crochet in the first 20 stitches. After those 20 single crochets, we're going to work a back post double crochet, skip a stitch for that post stitch, and we're going to single crochet in the next six stitches. Let's make sure we have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches, and then we work a back post double crochet, skip a stitch for the post stitch, and then work single crochets in the next 20 stitches. That last stitch of the repeat will take you right to the stitch marker. And so let's go ahead and turn this around and see what this repeat looks like, particularly with the tops here. That's the only thing that's really changing at this point. Okay, so go ahead and work this two more times across row 54. Now we're ready to work row 55, which is the last row of the tree pattern. We'll have some a couple more rows after this one before the video ends, but this is the last charted um, pattern. It's going to be a chain one, and we're going to single crochet in the next 20 stitches, front post double crochet, six single crochets, front post double in the next stitch, and then 20 single crochets. So let's go ahead and work row 55. We begin row 55 with the chain one and we are going to single crochet in the first 20 stitches. After working those 20 stitches, we're going to front post double crochet in the next stitch, skip a stitch behind for that post stitch, single crochet in the next six stitches. Four, five, and six, and now we're going to work a front post double crochet in the next stitch, skip a stitch behind for that post stitch, and then single crochet in the next 20 stitches. So this is what this repeat looks like, particularly focused on the tops of the trees here. Okay, go ahead and do that two more times across row 55. Now that we've completed rows 1 through 55 of the tree pattern, I wanted to redirect your attention to the overall afghan pattern that we're following that'll tell us um, which sections to crochet and when. Okay, so now that we've finished these um, rows 1 through 55, we're going to go ahead and do the next four rows before this video ends, and that is simply to chain one turn, single crochet in each stitch across. Again, that's for four rows. And as we do that, we're going to remove the stitch markers. We're not going to need them for these four rows. And note, you should end with a right side row. Do not fasten off. So we'll begin these next four rows with the back side facing. We're going to chain one, and we're simply going to single crochet all the way across the row, and we're going to remove the stitch markers as we go across. So don't, don't forget, we're going to do this four times. After working those last four rows, this is what your trees should look like. Okay, so now if you would just um, join me in the next video, in video number five, we will begin working the divider and carry on with the next portion of this throw. God bless. Bye-bye.